Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome to Blue Plays the Final Fantasy 16 demo. That's right, this is the second demo in, um, well, the same week actually, but I'm really intrigued by this game. I have always been a casual observer and somewhat fan of the Final Fantasy series, going all the way back to the days of Super Nintendo, believe it or not, and yet I've never finished a single Final Fantasy. But there's something about the action and the combat that I've seen of Final Fantasy 16 that has caught my attention. And since they now have a demo, a demo, by the way, which not only covers the prologue, the first couple hours of the game, but also any progress you make in the demo will carry over to the live version. That is super intriguing. And to me, that is the perfect way to execute a demo. So I'm here bringing it to you now. And I understand that this is something very different than what you're used to on the channel and I can't promise that this will become a full-fledged series once the game comes out I believe on the 22nd here coming up very soon but let me know what you think about that idea in the comments below but I am at least going to play through the demo a word of caution a word of warning I'm not going to age restrict these videos however for those of you who may be parents watching with your younger children like you do with many of my videos which couldn't appreciate any more if I tried. I absolutely love that you do that. This may be one you want to consider. Maybe look into a bit more. From what I understand, even though my commentary will continue to be family friendly, the game itself is intended for a more mature audience. So in terms of dialogue spoken, maybe some scenes depicted in the cutscenes, as well as some of the gore and violence, um, I don't know exactly what to expect other than, like I said, it's a bit tailored more towards the mature audience, so please take that into consideration. But all that being said, one thing that I had to do right leading into the demo was I had to go through this configuration, which I actually thought was pretty cool. Uh, just a few standard system settings. Um, some of these are actually only in the configuration, but even just launching the demo, I had to answer a few questions talking about screen brightness and game performance. I am choosing frame rate here. Um, I have set the volume, hopefully this mixes well with my voice. I am doing English voiceovers and subtitles. And I know that that is going to rub some people the wrong way. For me, the vast majority of the audience is English speaking. And even though the Japanese voiceovers is probably the preferred and superior, if you will, language to choose for a Final Fantasy game, just for my own sake of, of understandability as well as yours watching at home I am going to be choosing English language um, and I haven't touched anything with the controller so let's launch into a new game of the Final Fantasy 16 demo so okay it actually does have me go through it again we'll just say yes oh this is one that's interesting to talk about story focus or action focus it seems just from this brief description that the difference is your starting loadout so if it's story focus, you are going to start with accessories that simplify your gameplay, whereas action focus is if you're more familiar with action games, and I think <laughs> I fall into that camp. So I am going to choose an action focused approach to the gameplay. And there we have it. So let's dive right into Final Fantasy 16. It was Moss the Chronicler who said that the land of Alistia is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. I, okay, was not expected to be playing as one of the, uh, what are these called? Are they Icolons? 
summons. I, I believe I am playing as Ifrit, right? And is that Bahamut? That's like, oh, evade. Oh, this is exciting. All right, we're just gonna launch all the fireballs that I can. Oh yeah, just rapid fire. Here he comes. Good, turn around. Now this is a bit of a rail shooter right now. Year of the Realm 873. The Nysa Defile, the Dalmekian Republic. It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else? Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Let's get this done. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Yes, sir. I said focus, Wyvern. Yes, and I, and I will. I will. Yeah, you're telling me exactly how to move, Clive. One thing I need to mention, right now this is listed as a PlayStation 5 timed exclusive. So not necessarily will only always be on PlayStation 5, but it is timed. I don't know what sort of contracts they have in place, but I have to say the DualSense controller that I'm holding right now, the PlayStation 5 controller, feels incredible. The haptic feedback, even just of the other characters walking away, I could feel it, and uh, it, it's pretty immersive. Main menu, press that button at any time to open the main menu, fair enough. Gameplay settings, we can adjust it there. That makes sense. Pretty standard accoutrement. Time for this. All hell is about to break loose. But do we have time to take a look at my equipment, if you don't mind there? Main menu system. Options on the system tab include wireless controller. Yep, so typical system settings. So this is just the actual system information, just like I saw at the beginning. But that's not my inventory. Can I open that up with any sort of button input no it seems like right now very standard we're just gonna follow our leader here Time to move. I like that it's telling me now that I can just tilt it gently to walk but uh pretty sure the sergeant wants me to move a little bit quicker we're just in time
Republican Army front lines. The Zernita stronghold the Nysa defiled. To the gates! Quickly! Move! What do you mean, you refuse? Did you not pledge your swords to our cause? Come now. Marshal, the King of Walud is our guest. And you have His Majesty's answer. summoned us at all have you so little faith in your own men it was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms was it not or am I mistaken besides your dominant has yet to take the field And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? The capital will lie exposed. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. Which just leaves me. Popka! The Iron Blood will rule the day they set foot on Storm. This game is over. You cock. <laughs> Benedict. <laughs> mm. <sighs> take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. Mm. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedict. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. <laughs> mm. 
The front lines are gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. I do actually want to go into the settings really quickly. I want to bump up the voice volume. I thought it'd be enough. I'm going to put that all the way up to 90. It seems a little quiet to me. Okay, so I do have dedicated jump. Let's look over. Am I still looking over the battlefield? No, not right now. Now, one thing I don't know is, is will this game be stamina based? Or just action based? I'm, honestly, I'm not sure. I've only seen some and gameplay footage. Deadly, as always. <sighs> Take the van. Wait. Something's not right. Titan. So the Darmax finally grew tired of being slaughtered. <laughs> and look who's here to greet the bastard. Don't get to die here, Wyvern. Move! Well, I'm certainly trying. She's right on top of us. So, is that Shiva? Truly not familiar enough with the Final Fantasy lore. I know that we were after Shiva's dominant. Is that would that be Shiva's dominant? Anytime, Wyvern.
Wyvern. Wyvern. I told you before, you do not get to die here. Did you forget to tell BS that too? summers earlier, Rosalind, the Grand Ducky of Rosar- Ducky or Dookie? Duchy. Well, if you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now! <laughs> Two arms, then. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. Let's start again from the beginning. Come. Show me your form. Back the Lord Commander. So we're going with the back in time training montage trope. Not against it. Also, these wooden training swords are gorgeous, and I would like to have one just like in melee attacks. Press square to perform a melee attack. Up to four attacks can be chained together. Good. There's Again. one. I do like that there's an automatic reticle. I don't actually have to lock on, it seems. Very good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the Phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. Come, Clive. Rain fire down upon me. Channel your inner flame. Land a fire spell five times. Press triangle to cast fire, a rain spell that can strike enemies from a great distance. Oh, I have to land it. But I can't just spam it because it does seem like he likes to dodge. Well done. You wield the firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. Let's see if you can elude my blade. After all, your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. On your toes, Lord Rosfield. A quick on your feet. So I am Clive Rosfield. Evading. Press R1 to evade an enemy attack. Precision dodging. Absolutely love when a game includes this. Evading an attack at the precise moment it is dealt will temporarily slow the enemy, making it more susceptible to a counter using square or triangle, melee or magic. Come on! How did you dodge that? I was sure I had you. Oh, I like that. Nice try. What are you doing? Oops. <laughs> Not quite. Remember, Clive, your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix, granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on you. Well, I'm waiting. Close the gap. Execute a Phoenix shift 
three times iconic feats. The Blessing of the Phoenix grants Clive the ability to perform feats of inhuman strength and dexterity. Phoenix Shift is one such iconic feat. Press a circle to swiftly close in on a distant target. Both melee and ranged attacks can be used while executing a Phoenix Shift. Was it all our shields could move so swiftly? Okay, we're calling it Phoenix Shift, but I mean, it's really just dodging towards the enemy, right? Impressive. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Well, that won't do at all. Mend your wounds, alright, learning how to heal using potions. Consumable items such as potions and tonics can be used to restore Clive's HP or temporarily boost attributes. Consumables can be signed to the D-pad via the items tab at the main menu for quick and convenient use. These items can also be used directly from the menu. And we need to take a look here at our consumables. This is our attributes. We can look at this at another time. Let's go over to my items tab though. Signing shortcuts, that's what we are going to do. So we have potions, looks like they're already assigned. So we have regular potion assigned to D-pad up, high potion assigned to D-pad right. Okay, we'll just use regulars. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments, wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory. Or at the very least, to ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. It's time for the test. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. You wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd never ask. Come then, Lord Rosfield. Spar with me. If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. As you wish, my lord. Have at me, boy. Make proof of your strength. Final lesson. All right, I think I just need to defeat him now. Yep, defeat the Lord Commander. Oh, but now we have another mechanic. Breaking an opponent's will. The will gauge indicates an opponent's will to fight back. Break their spear by landing attacks and strike them when they are vulnerable. This sort of secondary gauge has become quite popular, it seems. And I'm not saying Sekido Shadows Die Twice was the first, but it seems to be maybe the most, the more prominent in recent years. But I've seen it in a few other titles as well now. Well, you're sure to beat him this time. You okay, that works. Stay calm. Can do a big combo here. Them. Good dodge. I actually meant to use the Phoenix Shift away from him there we go and we're about to break his will so let's just wait or <laughs> I'll just knock him down like that I was waiting for him to attack me staggering your enemies Lord Murdoch's will has been broken leaving him staggered Try dealing as much damage as you can before he regains his senses using R2 and square Back to Rising Flames, a powerful iconic ability granted Clive by the blessing of the Phoenix. Okay. That was pretty significant. He's regaining. Can we do another one? Not yet. Okay. I used all the tools at my disposal. Not quite. And another dodge. Staggered again. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, that combat's fun already. Did it last? 
It's taken me long enough. That was a display worthy of your father. <laughs> you are a true shield of the flame, and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. What are you lot gawping at? Back to your drills. Sure. I was just tired. The Phoenix's flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <coughs> That's why. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. I'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. His grace has returned! Father's back! <laughs> Your Grace, please, uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you, Your Grace. We live to serve. Joshua. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Good day to you, Mother. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Lord Murdoch? Your Grace. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born a phoenix. We should join them. What was that deal with the animosity between the mother and Clive? Thank you, Joshua. You are well, I trust. Yes, Father. Much better. Today, June and I went to the bay to watch Clive spa. Is that so? <coughs> Quiet, Tolga. Stop it, boy. Not now. He'll make a fine hound one day. Father. Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. The capital rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, fun. Your grace. Hmm. 
Shields dismissed. Where do you think you're going, hmm? Clive here is off to see the Archduke. Right. Sunrise, sunset. Finding your way. Should you find yourself lost, do not fret. Hold down L3 and trust in your animal instinct to point you in the right direction. Your current destination will be displayed with a symbol. Is trouble brewing? I'm not sure. I need to speak with Father. I do, but not before exploring a little bit on my own. I see some shinies to take a look at. I also see some armored chocobo, which I don't know if chocobos have ever been used in battle some sort of cavalry perhaps they have but um, again I am kind of an outside observer for the most part in the Final Fantasy series but let's just take a look and see if there's anything of interest here we start with some potions high potions stone skin tonics increases defense by 30% for 90 seconds no materials we have one curiosity the shield ensign the brazen seal received by the by all ducal shields upon completion of their accolade may the blessing of the crystals go with us and shield the Firebird's flames forevermore. That's items. Uh, let's take a look at journal. As the don't know, Dookie. I mean, we have Ducal. I'm gonna say Dookie. That just sounds ridiculous. But as the Dookie readies itself for war with the Iron Kingdom, its most bitter and long-standing of rivals, so too does Clive prepare to do his duty as first shield of Rosaria to protect and serve his brother Joshua, dominant of the phoenix so there's that word dominance again i'm trying to put together a context of how they're using dominant they want us to make us uh, make our way to the throne room of course so this is just what we've done so far but i do kind of want to read this because it might tell me a little bit more about dominant so pride it is the year 860 and with the coming of spring does green once again return to the grand duchy of rosaria in the baileys of rosalith castle men who have sworn their swords to their country train in anticipation of coming conflict and it is here that one young man in particular endeavors to prove himself worthy to the ones he loves as dawn breaks over the nice defile in the 873rd year of the valisthian calendar the armies of dalmikia and the iron kingdom gather and their icons titan of the republic and shiva of the orthodoxy so that was in fact shiva make ready to take the field Meanwhile, high above it all, a small party of branded assassins survey the battlefield like hawks in search of prey. That would be us. Um, obviously not in this exact time period, but a little bit later on, I guess 13 years ahead of now. The night burns red as twin titans clash. Dressed in flame, they vie for dominance. One a beacon of hope, the other an aberration, an affront to the very laws of nature. There is no room in this world for both, for there can only be one icon of fire. So that's referencing that opening cutscene where I actually played as one of these icons. Uh, again, I believe that was Ifrit. So that is items. What about attributes? So we have hit points, attack, defense, stagger, strength, vitality, and will. Uh, my sword is called the Rosarian Oath. 55 damage, and it looks like 55 stagger damage because it has that same star symbol as my own stagger. Upon joining the Ducal Army, and I'm not going to read every single item because Final Fantasy has dozens and hundreds of items, but I'm curious what I'm starting with. All future shields receive a longsword that not only serves as their weapon, but represents the oath they take to defend Rosaria and her people. The blade of this particular weapon is approximately a hand shorter than those used by most, making it more suitable for a squire not yet fully grown. Look at the pixel characters in the bottom right, my party members. So it isn't just me. It is, I believe, my sister that is also with me. And then the Rosarian Belt, 10 defense, designed more for keeping one's trousers in place than stopping the head of an axe. Those expecting any discernible protection from this basic accessory will be sorely disappointed. And then we have space for a bangle, three different bits of jewelry. There is my level, current level 5, 50 XP to my next level. Ability points, untapped potential earned by leveling up. These points can be used to purchase 
new iconic abilities guild that is the currency party members we have clive and jill gear and icons so we can look a little bit more here and it's the same description as we just read and then the system settings all right but is there anyone else to really right. talk to let's get this stuff unpacked before the duchess calls for us Finding items, yes. I, I assume running to the shiny will get me these items. Oh, and you don't even have to pick them up. They're just automatically gathered. Time to put an end to their little crusade. Well, before we, like I said, head over to the throne room. Remember, it is for us to protect his highness. Make sure you get a good edge on that, eh? The dialogue pop-ups might be a little bit distracted because there's quite a bit of it. Let me take a look in the system settings regarding that. NPC chat, there we go. So I am going to turn that off. Um, it's really cool because it makes the world feel alive. The people are carrying on very <laughs> normal and natural conversations. But I don't necessarily need to know exactly who is saying what at all times amongst the uh, the folks that I'm not really interacting with. Okay. That's a very bright, we shiny object. We lose the light. All right. Certainly some issues with the frame rate, or at least the frame pacing, despite it being on uh, prioritized frame rate mode. Do not concern yourself with this bungling car. Bow to him, you fool. Uh, I, uh, Did I say to speak? It was no trouble, really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why, neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Stand, please. Stand. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. As do we all, my lord. As do we all. Come along now. Back to your duties. All right, everyone get the snickering out now in the comments below because Blue said Dookie, I don't know how many times, and apparently it is Dutchie. I, I truly didn't know. Also, he had the same or a very similar brand on his face that I did 13 years from now when I was known apparently as a branded assassin. Right up there is the way Looks towards like the quest. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. What is happening here? So they're actually using this crystal to generate water, which we did see in that cutscene at the dinner table. Someone actually came over one of the servants and actually, I guess, squeezed a crystal and water came out, or at least some sort of fluid. Uh, that's pretty cool. Slave Master. I'm having my bearer fill the well, my lord. Best to save what crystals we can, eh? 
best to save what crystals we can. How is he not using a crystal? Interesting. Magic being used for such tasks that we would normally take for granted is, I guess, generating water. All right, there's an item over here. Glad I came up. Because again, the progress does carry over. Ooh, ducal shield. Fine display, my lord. Almost felt sorry for the Lord Commander. It was pretty good. Okay, high potion. Let's head to the throne room. And yes, there is a lot of dialogue. Every Final Fantasy has an absolutely incredible amount of dialogue. I imagine if this were to become a full series, there may be entire episodes where it is nothing but cutscene. But if I'm going to play a story-based game like this and bring it to all of you, I'm going to do my best to do it justice. and quiet in here, isn't it? It is, and it's absolutely beautiful. Well, we'll go look at Joshua in a moment. What is... Are you using magic to trim the trees here? You are, aren't you? Marquis, forgive my man. You'll be done in the jiffy. Just get in the place tidied up for the big procession. really interesting using magic when the manual labor itself might be honestly less demanding from what we've seen magic seems to take it out of you uh, during my fight with the Lord Commander I fell down afterwards after using some magic and then Joshua was seen to comfort and heal me and then you know began coughing obviously there's something wrong with Joshua some sort of ailment but still it does seem that magic is is not exactly a uh, how do I want to put it? Not exactly a a simple endeavor. Put it that way. That child is the future of our nation. He must be protected. All other concerns are insignificant. Clive, I. Are you worried about the war? The soldiers will expect the Phoenix to help them. I don't know if I can. Don't worry, Joshua. Father will guide you. And I will protect you. Always. I know. Thank you, Clive. You know, seeing things right now, like people trimming the trees and generating water with magic, it actually reminds me of the movie Onward, if you haven't seen an animated movie about a fantastical land in which it's actually kind of the flip side, but because technology became so advanced, people stopped using magic and using their own abilities to do things, and they started relying on things like cars in order to get around, even though centaurs could simply run there, or, you know, they, they kind of abandoned their fantastical magical ways in lieu of technology, and it seems perhaps the opposite is true here. I don't know, just a comparison that uh Joshua's comfort and safety before your that struck me. Some large <laughs> what? Oh, they are taking this too seriously. Some large gates and stiff levers or levers, if you will, require extra effort to operate. Use X to access them and then hold right trigger to push or pull with all your might. What is the trope with action RPGs and needing to really struggle to open gates and doors and all this? Uh, I mean, were they really so heavy that they were difficult to open? Just make them easier. No, we did it though. Barely broke a sweat. Good luck. Commanded my presence, Your Grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. Mother isn't here. 
do the territories fare any better? Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. By the flames? Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the Deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua Shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. It is time to prove your strength and shut your mother up for good. <clears throat> I will do my duty, Your Grace. That will be all. Rest well. We ride at dawn. Yes, Your Grace. Active Time Lore hold down the touchpad to access the Active Time Lore feature, a compilation of important information relevant to Clive's current storyline progression. ATL can even be viewed during most cutscenes. All ATL entries can be accessed later in the game. What a cool feature. Oh, that is so... Wow. Your current location, information on different things that were spoken about, who was talking, Elwyn Rosefield, that's father, the Iron King... This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. The Grand, the Grand Duchy of Rosaria, a nation occupying the western reaches of the continent of Storm, with Rosalith at, as its capital. Rosaria was originally formed from a collection of smaller dominions, all of which now stand united under the banner of Archduke Elwyn Rosefield. Father, not possessing a mother crystal of its own, the duchy has long been locked in bitter conflict with the Iron Kingdom over possession of Drake's Breath, which lies still further to the west in the midst of the Boiling Sea. Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria and father of Clive and Joshua, so not Jill, Jill is not related, thought she was, loved by his people for his steadfast leadership both at home and on the battlefield, which he put to good effect in quelling the rebellious northern territories. So far, I really appreciate and respect Elwyn. He certainly treats... Clive, us, the player character, with respect, whereas the mother seems to have something against me because I wasn't born with a similar gift slash malady as Joshua, perhaps? The Iron Kingdom, also known in the local tongue as Heron, the Iron Kingdom is an archipelago nation situated off the west coast of Storm, with its capital at Craig Loist. The Mother Crystal, Drake's Breath, rises from a volcanic island situated just within or without its borders, depending on whom you ask, and has been the subject of long-standing conflict between the Iron Blood and the neighboring Duchy of Rosaria. The Iron Kingdom's inhabitants shun any contact with outsiders, which has given rise to a unique, if largely inward-looking, 
culture, the Mother Crystals, enormous glassy mountains, five of which tower over the lands of Velisthia. They are the source of all the crystals that the people of the twins rely on in their everyday lives. This may be why the slave master was saying that we need to really take care of our crystals and make them last because we don't possess our own mother crystal from which the crystals come. Instead, we're battling over this one, the Drake's Breath. Not only that, but the lands surrounding them are rich with aether, making the magic the crystals cast even more potent. For these reasons, great nations have sprung up around each mother crystal and have long warred with each other for possession of their blessings. And lastly, Rosaleth Castle, situated in the heart of the ducal capital of Rosaleth. It is from this towering ivory fortress that the Archduke and his family rule their nation. An architectural feat the founder himself would be proud of, the castle has stood since the early days of the duchy and watched over the rise of this proud nation and the people who inhabit the city beneath. This is such a cool feature. Active time lore might be my favorite feature I've already seen so far. This war we need to wage, it isn't only for control of the Mother Crystal. Above all else, we cannot allow those iron blood savages to gain a foothold on Storm. I know. I would sooner die than see them darken our shores again. I wish you a safe journey tomorrow. And I you, Clive. May your blade strike true. One thing that I really appreciate in any form of media, be it television, book, movie, video game, I like when magic has some sort of inherent personal implication. And what I mean by that is that there is a cost to it, sometimes a great cost. It's not simply you know how to cast a spell and you can, you can cast it to your heart's content, something like Harry Potter, right? But it actually takes something of yourself in order to manifest. One of the, my favorite examples, and while his early writing almost can't be forgiven, <laughs> But Christopher Paolini, who wrote the Aragon, or I guess it's called the Eldest series, Aragon being the first book, the way he describes casting magic, trying to conjure water in that world, was really, really intriguing. It nearly killed the main character just for him to get a handful of water in the middle of a desert. I can appreciate that. And I see something to that effect here. So I'm really excited to see what they do exactly with the magic system. So there's my animal instinct that really just kind of points me to the next marker and i think that's probably just me going to rest for the evening but you know what before we get tied into another long cutscene i'm actually going to call it a part there now not much has happened action wise but final fantasy is final fantasy and they're going to do as final fantasy does which means we're going to go some stretches of lots of exposition lots of dialogue lots of cutscenes followed by lots of action lots of fighting lots of exploring and looting and there's, there's an interest there, for sure. But let me know in the comments what you think of what you've seen so far. Have you tried the demo? Let me know that as well. And would you be curious to see Blue Lizard Jello, hey, that's me, play this in its entirety on the channel? Kind of up in the air right now. I'm certainly going to play through the rest of the demo. I think it's only about two hours, maybe a little bit more, because I demo quite a bit. But I will certainly bring all that to you for you to help me make a decision. But that's going to do it for this episode of Blue Plays, the Final Fantasy 16 demo. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're enjoying this yourself. And I will see you next time.